Unfortunately, most Jamaicans don't know about Uganda, at least not while I was there. So it would be great for, more, for, a, lot, for a lot more Jamaicans to actually begin to learn about Uganda and learn about you know, Uganda's um, uh, history, especially as, you know, even Rastafari. Yeah, and Na- right. Naya Bingi, she was from here, you know, all that stuff, yeah. you know, some of that stuff that even Rastafari, but she came from here, the requisite. It would be a great thing to have more, you know, intercontinental dialogue between Jamaicans. Very happy to be here with you, Wagwan. <laughs> you can say one way of saying Wagwan, but straight away, um, I'm almost from an, from Jamaica right now because I have one of my brother uh, is from Jamaica, and he's right here. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Your Wagwan. <laughs> you can greet my viewers. Your people, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, how are you? I'm good, 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 good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, I'm very, very happy that uh, you're here in Uganda. Yeah. And uh, you're from very far, from Jamaica, straight out yeah. from. Yeah. Now you're here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's been an amazing uh, time. Yeah. So, my, I mean, by the way, my name is Anthony. Yeah. Jeremy, I can call me Anthony Jeremy Thompson. But, um, Born in Clarendon, uh, Clarendon. Okay. Mipin. Uh, grew up in um, Saint Spanish Town. Grew up in Spanish Town, and then um, went to America for some time. Then I uh, patriated to the motherland here. Ended up in Uganda. Been here for about eight, almost eight and a half years now. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Eight and a half. Yeah. Wow. Eight years and I think four months. Mm. Okay. How is your experience so far? Ah, the best. <laughs> the best. Yes. Wow. Uganda is just like Jamaica. Okay. Uh, only difference is we're a little bit more tropical and we have more variety of food. But except for those two things, it's just like Jamaica. Like so, so Uganda is just like Jamaica. The weather here is nice. The food is nice. The people are great. The community aspect of the country, of okay. Africa in general, is nice. But um, I think if you're a Jamaican, whether you from the diaspora or you travel and live abroad, I think if you come here, man, you're going to have a nice night. It's, it's like, just, it's like just a lot bigger. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just bigger, way bigger. Wow. Yeah. How, how about the people here in Uganda? Well, for one, I personally, I could say that, you know, being, um, I, I, like I said, I live, I live some time in America, I spent some time there, okay. and I grew up in Jamaica, and I can tell you that, man, the Ugandans are... Actually, actually, they're too nice. They're nice. Probably too, like, too nice, actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Ugandan people are very welcoming. They're very warm. They're very, what's the word, hospitable. Oh. Yeah, and that's a huge thing to help you know, people like us who are trying to find a home. You know, having a very hospitable people really does make a big difference in you know, how you, you're able to live in a place. Because if they weren't, I mean, if I went to another country that wasn't hospitable, probably I wouldn't stay there for so long. You know, I would plan to live here, become a citizen. So the people had a lot to do with my decision to stay here. So, oh, wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. I think my viewers from Jamaica, you're hearing, you're hearing that. Mm. Uganda is very so good. And very the people nice. there are mm. well nice. Very good. Oh. And uh, what about the food? Ah, the food. Ah. <laughs> See, actually, since I came to Uganda, I got a big stomach. <laughs> no, but the food is actually... Um, one thing I can say about Ugandan food is it's natural. It's natural. It's very natural. That's the first thing. Fresh. Uh, you know, coming from a place where you used to eat a lot of canned food, it was just a big, a big uh, kind of a change of scenery to actually be a part of a culture that has uh, a people that has a culture of eating naturally. Wow. Uh, yeah, everything and everything you could find in Jamaica, you could, you could find here, you know, except for Aki, red fruits and stuff, but. You can find your, your fresh bananas, your uh, and lots everything. of fruits and vegetables, fresh fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, sir. What do you tell your fellow people from Jamaica? My, which message? Which message do you give them? Like, well, my own story is that you know I uh, grew up in Jamaica, went to the US for a bit, like I said. Okay. And I always.
always knew that I wanted to be on the African continent, and I ended up in Uganda. And um, for me, that's been just the best thing I've done in my life. I don't think I could have done anything better. I'm not saying everyone would end up in Uganda, but at least I think all Jamaicans should actually have uh, some kind of physical or you know some kind of connection to the continent. Okay. And of course, I'm 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 repping Uganda, so I have to I have to, I have to advertise Uganda. But you know, but also if you're Ghana or whatever, of course that's also good. But I would say that every single Jamaican must should have some kind of investment, friends, relationship on the continent. Uh, I think it's about time that we actually. You know, start that conversation and that trip. Maybe not even us, all of us in our lifetime, but our kids. Uh, I mean, I can't wait for Jamaica to be a, you know, like a, a colony of Africa, right? So yes. that, that movement was yeah. it was talked about some time back, but we haven't we haven't actualized that yet. So uh, I would love to see that happen. Jamaica, Africa. <laughs> Jamaica, Africa. Yes, <laughs> yes that would be great. Wow. So, so my, yeah, so my thing is, every Jamaican should have relationships some kind of investment on the continent and of course uganda i think is one of the best place um, to put your whatever you okay. invest in. in any kind of business or? yes wow. uganda is a virgin so for those of you who are business people uh you know uganda is a virgin place it's, it's very virgin in terms of you know, uh, you know development and technology and stuff and you know even me i find lots of opportunities here myself yeah. you know and just yeah so it's, it's very it's a great place to invest Good. Yeah. Oh, so now so far, um, eight years and a half mm-hmm. when you're here. Mm-hmm. So, um, are you working here? Yeah, yeah. I'm. Um, I actually work here at this place. This is a, a oh. hub. This is a, a technology hub for entrepreneurs and uh, creatives and stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's started by this organization called the Innovation Village. They basically uh, uh, help young people uh, primarily. To bring their ideas to life, so I work with these guys here, not directly, but I work with them. I have a, a similar kind of company organization where we work with creatives, oh. and so we, we do we're, we're co-creating with them to you know uh, to build the commu- this town that we live in is called Jinja. It's where the source of the Nile is, so we have a lot of creatives in Jinja and a lot of entrepreneurs. So we're working together to kind of build community. Kind of build this um, this ecosystem for, for young creatives, young entrepreneurs, and creatives to thrive. To thrive. Yeah, so wow. so yeah, that's why when, when did you start work here? Um, well, here is about two years. But when I came here to Uganda, I actually started my work because I'm uh, by profession I'm a multimedia developer. I do I know, program design and all stuff. Okay. Um, they call it here ICT technology. Um, so when I came here, actually, I started a small um, a school of sorts where I was teaching uh, young people, training them on multimedia development and te- all sorts of technology. And so the work continued, um, and then we kind of evolved into working with different artists, because I'm an artist also, with different visual artists, you know, performing artists, you know, whether musicians, uh, dancers, poets, stuff like that. And so that's kind of like, from there, it evolved into an organization called the Creative Tribe, and then we start working with these guys about two and a half years now. Mm-hmm. And that's been my work since I've been here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, so have you ever met other uh, Jamaicans here? Yeah, there's a there's a small there's a, a developing um, Caribbean community here. Uh, not just Jamaicans, even there's quite a few, but uh, Guyanese and you know, Bahamas, um, Haiti, and stuff like that. So there's a there's a Caribbean community here within Uganda. Okay. And uh, you know it's, uh, it's, it's it's growing, and wow. we're, you know, we're making steps towards putting things like a embassy. I know we have an honorary consulate now, okay. so you know, we're making and trying to make those things happen. Where uh, you know we could have diplomatic relations. As you know, as you know reggae is big here. Yeah, reggae, reggae, yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> Jamaican culture is huge here, but we don't have a lot of uh, yeah. you know, cultural exchanges in the future, you know, more so from country to country. So I feel like. Um, you know, that's one of the things that we're trying to actualize when we have the diplomatic relations between Jamaica and Uganda. We don't even have a direct flight connection. So we, we just we have a lot to work on. But already you know there's a great love for Jamaica and Jamaican music and Jamaican women over here. There's so much love for Jamaica here. <laughs> so it's it's an added bonus. And yeah. Unfortunately most Jamaicans don't know about Uganda at least not when I was here. So it would be great for more, for, a lot, for a lot more Jamaicans to actually begin to learn about Uganda and learn about you know, Uganda's uh, 
history, especially in, in, in Rastafari. Yeah. Yeah. Naya Bingi, she was from here, you know, all that stuff, yeah. you know, some of that stuff that you know, Rastafari, but she came from here to represent. It would be a great thing to have more, you know, intercontinental dialogue between the Jamaican people and the Uganda population. Wow, that's so interesting. It would be great, yeah. Wow. So I hope to meet other, other yeah. Jamaicans here. Yeah, yeah you're still here. Quite a few things here. Oh, okay. So um, sometimes, do you prepare yourself like a Jamaican food? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you know. I, 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 I have assimilated. So you know, the, the cool thing about being a Jamaican is that you could actually go somewhere and assimilate. You know, we love our culture, but we're also very flexible when it comes to like you know, other cultures because Jamaican culture is African culture. So exactly. if I miss a few specific things in Jamaica, it's okay, but because I have enough, we're still Africans. There's enough things here culturally, whether food, you know, uh, dance, everything, that is like, it's, it's like I'm in Jamaica. Yeah. No ackee and selfish, but no oxtail, but, but it's okay. <laughs> but there's enough things here, the people, I mean, it's like I'm seeing, you know, people yeah. in Jamaica here, yeah. you know, the, the ways of living in the community, community so. I feel like I have enough things here in Jamaica, I mean, in Uganda, to kind of feel at home. So I don't miss the food too much. And besides, Ugandan food is not bad. So, and also, where, where I live here, we have a lot of different cuisines. You know, so it's like a Chinese food, yeah. and other food, Indian, Indian cuisine. So it's, it's I, I do miss it sometimes, but it's not a big deal because I have so many things to supplement. Though it would be good if anyone's watching, I tell you, I think we could start a Jamaican restaurant here. Okay. And it's just that I can't cook the food. My stepmom is a good cook, but she's not here. So if anybody watching you, you could actually make Jamaican food really good. First time opportunity here. Well, so you guys, have me as a customer. <laughs> I will be your first customer. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna start a uh, Jamaican restaurant here yeah. in the Ginger. So whenever you visit Ginger, yeah. you'll come straight to my place. So you've been there, everything. Get a Jamaican cook. Oh, Jamaican cook. Yes, oh, you I have to be a Jamaican cook. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not eating, you have to be a Jamaican cook. So you will be a healthy thing in yours. Me, oh, I'm the wrong one. I mean, I could cook, but, you know, our food is like, I could cook, but not at the level for a restaurant. I, mean, I could cook for y'all. I could cook for okay. But I want a real Jamaican cook. Yeah. Wait. So nice. Wait upstairs. for that. Yeah. You're going to enjoy it. I'll start soon. soon. <laughs> so blue dries. Run dog. Ah! The food, anyway. Wow. Mm. That's so good. Uh, thank you so much for to accept me, like to have you here. Mm-hmm. It's really a great day. Yeah. And, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah. So, guys, I think we're gonna end our conversation here. So next time mm-hmm. we're gonna meet more and more and more Jamaican people here in Uganda. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and you can say your last words. Yeah. And you see me a good Madrid. Come in. I'm just kidding. I'm just at my journey. I'm just in my group. Anyway, yeah, man, so Jamaican people, everybody should come to Africa, or at least be investing in Africa, right? The year is really investing in the US and Britain and all that. That's good, not bad, but we need to put some resources on the continent and you know, make sure that next 10 generations we have something, you know, something steady. Because yeah. Jamaica, Jamaica's small. Yeah, because yeah, big, especially actually. Uh, I think Uganda, mm. when you measure Uganda, you can get like three mm. Jamaica. Three, like maybe more. More. Even, I mean, Jamaica population is about three million, I think. Three million. Uganda is forty-five million. But Uganda is actually a small country. It's a small country, country in yeah. Africa. But yeah, with their top population. Yeah. Well, but um, yeah, but it's yeah. So Jamaica, I mean, it just makes sense for us to put our resources here because Africa is huge. Huge. So, all right, Jamaicans, please mm. welcome you here. Mm. Come and start your business here. You're gonna work everything to be just good. Yeah. Yeah. Now, my brother is so far here over eight years. Yeah. 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 About eight years. So, he is enjoying, he's mm. working, and everything is just good. Yes. Yeah. So, kindly, don't forget to subscribe, share with friends, and. Yeah, down there, 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 there. <laughs> down there. Uh, notification bell so that you don't miss out. Yeah. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye, people. See you. Bye bye. <laughs>